question is interesting because I'm in the process right now of uh, putting together my curriculum uh, for my advanced fixed prosthodontics uh, residency program that starts at the end of the month. And so the question really is about how I use quick splints to establish or to get patients used to their occlusion. Well, I, I don't really use the quick split that much post-operatively, but I use it extensively kind of in the, the, the preliminary phases. So if I need to relax muscles to get good registrations for the diagnostic phase, uh, quick splint is my go-to uh, 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 technique for getting patients relaxed so I can get some uh, fairly accurate interclusal registrations. Um, we do a thing called matrix bonding. It's uh, kind of established uh, new occlusion in kind of a temporary way. So we use quick splints to protect that. We also use it to protect provisionals. In some instances, again, it depends on, you know, are the muscles getting relaxed and our patients adapting. Uh, but we want to make sure that we stabilize and get the patient comfortable really before we finalize the occlusion. And so we really use the quick splint really more, uh, more in the preliminary phases rather than uh, post-operatively. You know, the quick split is one of the most important tools when doing a full mouth reconstruction. First, we like to use it when the patient's in the provisional phase. That way we don't have to worry about provisionals breaking or popping off, especially if the anteriors are veneers. The nice thing about that is that it allows more muscle settling and relaxation. So when it comes time to deliver the final case, we can be assured that the patient is in a orthopedically stable and comfortable position. After delivery of our reconstruction, we also fabricate another quick split. And we do this, to, again, to protect our work, make sure everything's dialed in as the definitive night guard is being fabricated. So when we deliver the final night guard, we have another chance and opportunity to evaluate the occlusion. This ensures that we're properly seated joint position, the bite is comfortable and fully protected. And if we need to do any touch-ups at the delivery of the definitive rest night guard, then we can do it. But getting there, the quick split is just a wonderful tool for us to use. Hi, Mike Smith from Biting Education and Clinical Mastery Series. Well, the question is, when you have a full mouth reconstruction case, how does quick split help your patient adjust for their occlusion or just having the patient go without? Well, when we put in a whole full mouth reconstruction, there's a lot of changes for the way they bite, the way they chew, the way they function. Um, you got to make it so they can adapt to that new position much easier. Well, one of the things that happens is when you put all this case in, you can get some inflammation of the joint space. Well, inflammation will change the occlusion. Well, the, the best thing about quick splint is it's going to help them mitigate that inflammation, especially at night when they're clenching, grinding, um, parafunctioning. And it's going to help to decrease that inflammation, allow them to settle their occlusion faster and not have as much inflammation.